Working with this diagram again, we're now going to get the bottom graph drawn in, uh, partially. To get the bottom graph drawn in is going to require looking at the rules in the upper left that were typed. The bottom graph is going to be a graph of profit. The last typed rule says that profit at cubicle zero is minus fixed cost. Since we are in the short run, short run time two, so we're in the short run, fixed costs aren't zero. So profit at Q equals zero is minus fixed cost, and that's not at zero. So all the profit lines are going to start here. I'm going to do three examples in this video, and then we're going to switch to another video for the, the other price levels. So I want to start with PA. And at PA, so let's start with price of PA. And we'll look at the rules here in relation to a price of PA. First off, it says profit is less than zero when price is less than average total cost. Well, price is PA, that's down here. Average total cost is way up here. So we know that average total cost is always bigger than price, and so profit's always going to be zero. So in the bottom graph, we're never going to approach this axis. We're always going to be below that axis. The next one, the next line uh, here says, here, says profits is less than minus fixed cost when price is less than average variable cost. So here's price, here's average variable cost. Price is always less than average variable cost. And so profit's always going to be less than minus fixed cost. So minus fixed cost is here. Profit's always going to be less than that. Next point. Profit's falling when price is less than marginal cost. Well, price is here, marginal cost is here. Price is always less than marginal cost. So profit's always falling. So what you end up with is a curve like this. Profit's always falling. It starts at minus fixed cost. That's all there is to it for PA. That's pi A. Okay, let's move to PB and see what happens. Now, here it's going to be a little bit more substantive. Uh, something's going to happen, and I often like to start with with this rule and this rule. So. Let's start with the first rule. You see, when profit's equal to zero, that's going to be when price is equal to average total cost. So let's see if that happens. Does price equal ever equal average total cost? Well, at PB, the answer is no way, because price is here and average total cost is here. And so no, price is always going to be less than average total cost, and uh, profit's always going to be less than zero. So you're always going to be below this line for a price at PB. Okay, how about this one? In other words, price less than marginal cost, or is there anywhere the price is equal to marginal cost? Yes, uh, yes, there is actually right here. Uh, there's a different color for that. At that point, uh, PB does equal marginal cost. 
So that's going to be an interesting point to think about. All right, at that point, price is equal to marginal cost, so profit is neither rising nor falling. To the left of that point, PB is below marginal cost. Right? Marginal cost comes up like this, and PB goes like this. So to the left, marginal cost is bigger than price, so price is less than marginal cost, so profit is going to be falling. So profit is going to be falling to the left of that point. How about to the right of that? So I should write that down. Sorry. Profit falling for PB. How about to the right of that point? To the right of that point, here's price. And here's marginal cost. So again, price is going to be below marginal cost. And so again, what you're going to get is profit falling. So we start at minus fixed cost and and what we're going to get something like this. Profit's going to be falling and it flattens out like this and it's neither rising nor falling but then it begins to fall again. So that's not a very smooth curve. Let me try to draw that better. So that's slightly better. The, the, the point is that, OK, I drew it one more time. The point is that on the, at the vertical line I drew, the, it's, supposed to be, it's supposed to be flat. It's like, so the, the curve is supposed to be flat there, but then it goes, goes down again. Okay. So that's what pi b looks like. Finally, for this video, I'm going to do pi C, a PC, which is this one, PC. So again, I like to first see whether I've got any places where profit's going to be equal to zero. But average total cost is way below PC, and so there's you're always going to be below the profit equals zero line. So next, I'm going to check. this one. Is there any place where price equals marginal cost, where marginal revenue equals marginal cost? Well, for PC, there are two places where marginal revenue equals marginal cost, here and here. So those are interesting lines. Let's draw those in. So those lines, we have marginal profit equals zero. To the left of the first line, marginal cost is higher than price. And so we have profit falling. In between, marginal cost is below price. So we have profit rising. And to the right of the next line, price falls below, or marginal revenue falls below marginal cost again. So we have profit falling. So we start from minus fixed cost. Okay, we have profit falling, and I'm going to uh, let's see. Uh, I'm going to change the uh, the way pi b looks like a little bit, so I can squeeze pi c into it. Okay, so I've resketched both pi a and pi b. Now I can't quite do pi c yet because I need to look at this criterion. Is profit ever going to reach minus fixed cost again? Well, it will if price ever reaches average variable cost. But that's not going to happen. PC is here. Average variable cost is here. PC is never going to reach average variable cost. And therefore, profit's always going to be less than minus fixed cost. So we're always going to be below this line. And so the way to draw pi c is this. It's 
falling until we get to here. Uh, rising until we get to here. And then falling again. But it always stays below minus fixed cost. So that's pi c. This gives you practice in applying the four rules at at the top to sketch profit curves. Now we're going to go to a page in the handout where we have more practice.